Welcome back to the Big Game Records. This is the last of the Nelson Herd. This one is shot by Thomas Nesbitt in Gordon's Creek Golden Downs back in 1938. Uh, it's 10 by 9. It's 37 and 5 by 37 and 7 long. It's 32 wide and has a span of 20 and 5. Beams are nice and chunky. It's 6 and 2 and 6 and 1. Coronets are 8 and 3 by 8 and 2. Brow tines are 12 by 11 and 5. And again, there's no bays on this puppy. The trays are 13 by 11. The inner royal is 13 and 2 by 10 and 2. Outer royals are 10 by 7 and 6. There's an outer off the inner royal on the right hand side of 5 and 2. The back tine is 20 and 2 by 16. There's an inner off the back tine on the left of 9 and 4 and 12 on the right. Second inner off the back tine on the right of 8 and 7. And then these are all on the left. The upper throwback is 19 and 1. Lower throwback of 17 and 1. Off the throwback tine of 13. And a snag off the throwback of 2 and 4. And there's also a snag off the royal right antler um, of 1 inch. So of course none of these are scoring points. But interesting all the same. And that gives a total of 288 and 7 eighths. Perhaps the most interesting point regarding this trophy is that it was taken near the point of release of the two imported Warnham Court stags in 1911, and it surely displays the traditional characteristics so distinctive of early specimens of the strain here in New Zealand. The throwback tines on the left antler are quite remarkable, in particular the lower specimen with an offshoot measuring 13 inches the main tine itself stretching out to 17 inches plus. Although missing bays tines, nevertheless the brows, tray, tray tines and sur royals are all well matched. Only the extensions erupting off the left antler causing an imbalance of growth. Not a large high scoring trophy but certainly a very interesting one. Tom Nisbet from all accounts shot the stag in his cow paddock near the head of Gordon's Creek Valley, about halfway between the two release sites of the imported stags of 1911. Those two Warnham Court stags had made quite an impression on the antlers of the Nelson Herd stags, influencing the population already established in that area by 1911 and beyond. A number of tro trophies taken from there right through the Wide O Valley displayed their influence in their antlers. Beautiful. Right, so we're going to move on to the Poulter herd. I'm quite excited about this herd actually. Um, I remember reading way back in a Rod and Rifle episode, uh, episode magazine about the Deans brothers and I've just, uh, well, I'm getting it for Christmas but uh, <laughs> I've already had a read of it. Um, I think it's volume three of, of the history of New Zealand hunters that the Rod and Rifle do and of course the Deans brothers article is part of that as well as the Herricks um, so, oh, sorry, Mrs. Herrick, Ethne, um, are in that one. So, yeah, really cool stories in the Polter Herd. Um, of course, we had Bok from Dolphin Friendly on the Stagrel podcast recently, and he has worked at Mount White Station, uh, the place of release of this. So, yeah, worthwhile getting yourself the Red Deer Part 2, Volume 6, just for learning about this cool wee niche herd um, up there in the Poulter River, um, just above the Waimakariri. So a little bit has drifted that way as well, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed so that you can start to understand a little bit more about it. What have we got there? I thought we were going to have the grandfather first, but not quite. Ah, speak of the devil, we have Colin Deans from the Studley Range in the North North Esk Valley to begin. So, yeah, hit that follow button or subscribe button, whichever platform you're on, and make sure you've left us a rating. That helps us get out to more listeners. Also, if you could do us a favour of sharing it on your social media or interacting with us on social media, that'd be that'd be bloody awesome. We've had some cool stuff come through. Um, of course, at Nelson Herd, we had one of the huts. Um, I think it was the Lees Valley get sent in. So, yeah, really cool to interact and hear that you guys are enjoying it. And uh, we'll catch you there for Mr. Colin Deans from the East Valley. Enjoy. This is New Zealand Big Game Records, Volume 6, The Red Deer, Part 2, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, Incorporated, 
by D. Bruce Benwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand. Printed by Prolong Press Limited, China. Um, copyright, 2011, D. Bruce Benwell, first published 2011, all rights reserved. <laughs>